Yo, so, Neil, Donut Street Tire Photographer, hello. So, keep saying I wanted to do some video. I've been saying it for months and months and months and months and months. I've been saying it for years even. I wanted to do some video, I wanted to get on YouTube. Maybe do something on there, like Sir Doc does. I went through a reboot, there was something along those lines. So I thought, okay, let's do it now. We've rebooted, no longer one more click, Donut Street Tire Photographer. So let's give it a go. So, let's give it a go. This, awkward, this bad Larry and bad Gary arrived yesterday. It's my birthday present to myself and I was so excited when I got it. Like I, I knew from the get-go I wanted a live action Cad Bane, you know, it's my favourite bounty hunter from Star Wars. And Cobb Vanth is my absolute favourite Disney addition to the canon. You know, even going way back to the Chuck Wendig Aftermath novels. Cobb Vanth's the man. And Timothy Oliphant's great. Like, it's really giving the joke. <laughs> so I was super, super, super chuffed when uh, when I managed to pre-order the two-pack. And they arrived yesterday. So you can see. It, I don't know if you can see. In fact, it would be easier if I went like this. Grabbed the original Cog Vanth. I mean, ignore the scarf. I made it myself. I replaced the plastic one. I didn't like it on that one. But it is a brand new sculpt, it's not just like they took the armour off it, it's brand new. The legs, the boots are different, the belt's a little different, it sits differently, you know, it's different paint. I think the arms are probably, or at least the top of the arms and the hands, they are definitely the same. But the body, the scarf, the legs, the boots, they're all new. Even the handgun has been redone. Don't know if you'll catch it on that video, but it's you know it's a lot more detailed than the one that was on. These videos will get better, I promise. <laughs> In fact, that's the one that came with the original. That's the one that came with this guy, so you know it is a bit better detailed. But I really like the scarf. It's mint. It's really cool. It really adds like that cowboy laconic kind of John Wayne in the searchers kind of vibe to him, which I'm digging. I mean, Cowboys are mint anyway, Star Wars is always best when it leads into Cowboys, in my opinion. So, I'm proper super chuffed to have, like, actual Cowboy dude. And the, the, the head sculpt is something else as well, so let's let's get them out and compare. So, that's the original. You know, you know it's a good likeness. It looks like Timothy Elephant. It looks like Cabane. This one's just a little bit more refined. Like, it's, it's a different head sculpt. So at the very least, it's a different paint application. I don't know, I think it is a different head sculpt to be honest. Ever so slightly. Or maybe the paint's just naff on my version of the original. Um, again, not sure if the camera will pick it up, which is really annoying. Um, there. So it is different, it's slightly. It might actually just be the paint. But I'm super, super happy with him. I can't wait to take some photos. Uh, I've got a couple of ideas. Like I said, Cobb Vance is my favourite. And then we have... This bad man pajama. Boo! <laughs> this is mint. Like I have the original campaign that they released, the animated version of the Clone Wars. And he's a really cool figure, but these are really fiddly. And they keep coming off and you lose them for three weeks, you know, and it's really annoying they're so little. And you know, and these hats so big. But obviously, you know, that's like the animated style of the Clone Wars, whereas this guy is much more like in proportion. With the majority of the Black Series figures I have, because the majority of them are live action, I suppose. You know, even like the Captain Rex is more live action y than Rex, than an animated Rex. So the, the, the original Cad Bane don't really fit. But I'm really, really happy with this guy. Like, he has a cowboy hat. And he's really well detailed. These don't come off, from like, on, like I said, on the original. These don't come off, which is nice, I like it, not gonna get lost. Got some really nice detailing on his chest. You know, he's got the cool coat, uh, gunfighter thing going on there, so you can get to his holster. The guns are amazing. They look so cool. We'll get them out. So here they are. So again, they're brand new sculpts. I've never seen these figure these pistols before. They're a lot more detailed than the one on the original release. And what's really cool it is they both come with these blaster effects 
and the mint, I love them. Cobb uh, Vamp, unfortunately, doesn't come with any, and these won't fit on his pistol, which is a bit on the annoying side, maybe. Um, look, they don't fit on the Cobb Vamp, but I really like them. They're a lot of fun. Uh, I think I'm going to get some use out of those. I'm going to be able to use them on a couple of different things. And then he also comes with the big plate as well for his flamethrower on his wrist. So I don't normally tend to use these. Like if you look back at my photos, you'll see approximately none. <laughs> Just because, you know, I get things like this and I'm like, oh yeah, cool, they live in a chop box and they never get used because I, I don't really do the whole Akba thing and the more of an Akba thing, I suppose. And I can't really make them look good. Uh, but these two, these I'm definitely excited about using. They look really fun. And they're different lengths as well. So that's nice. It gives it like a sense of motion, you know. I'm gonna get like a like a Josie Wales type photo with them, you know. Like. I don't know, like he reminds me of Josie Wales for some reason. And I know like Cad Bane isn't Clint Eastwood, he's Lee Marvin, straight up. He's Lee Marvin. But I don't know, this one really reminds me of Clint Eastwood. But I think, you know, again, he's a cowboy and Clint Eastwood's like the greatest cinematic cowboy maybe. <laughs> You see the hero John Wayne. It might be John Wayne, but I'm going to say it's Clint Eastwood because when I was younger, yeah, sure, love John Wayne movies. They're my favourite cowboy movies. We used to watch them all the time with my granddad. But as an adult, I'm more likely to watch Clint Eastwood because they're a bit more grey. So this guy, straight up cowboy, really reminds me of like Josie Wales. So I might even have to watch the movie again just to maybe get a couple of ideas. You know, there's like that really cool movie poster. You know, he's like he's got one gun like this and the other one like this. You know, he's just kind of like. And it's really badass. It, it looks mint. It's from the scene in the movie where he's like, you're going to pull them pistols or whistle Dixie and it blows them guys away. It's such a good movie. I'm actually going to watch that today now, I think. I've convinced myself. But yeah, just like I said, quick, cheap, cheap, rubbish, seven minute long video. Uh, I appreciate if you've watched right to the end. <laughs> um, definitely a bit rough. I know. They do need to get better. They will get better. I just wanted to see. Uh, because like I said, I've wanted to do some video for a while for... Well, what was one more clip and he's now Donald Street. So watch this space. These two cats will be coming at you soon. Also, will this dude, Black Suit Superman? I love him. He's so cool. <laughs> he's actually a birthday present off my kids. So I got him like yesterday. So I can't wait to photograph him. Not got many ideas for him at the moment. I'm probably going to get like a animated series Batman Superman team up photo. But you can get in some cool photos, some cool poses, like I might just do them like, you know, he's having a fight with someone, he's throwing some punches. Like, you wouldn't want to punch your suit, would you? Pretty face. But yeah, that was all. Just a quick little, ooh, look at my new figures video. So, peace. Next one will be better.